Hi, I'm Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook, and today I want to show you how to make a big, beautiful Mexican chopped salad. So we're going to start with about one pound of salad mix, and I have another YouTube video that shows you what all goes into this. So watch the big, beautiful chopped salad video. I have this in my 15 inch beech wood bowl, and I'm using a mezzaluna knife. I'm just gonna start chopping, and it takes a little bit to do this, and maybe Tom will be able to come in close and show you what's going on inside the bowl. I pretty much chop in the middle, and then I move things over with the knife to get them in the middle so I can chop them a little more. I do have this resting on a silicone hot pad because it helps keep it from making so much noise on my kitchen countertop. makes it really fragrant. The smell of the onions is increasing and it really smells delicious. It's a good little workout for the arms. Okay, so now I have it pretty well chopped. Oh, there's another piece. So you can chop it as finely as you like it. There's just something magical that happens when you chop the salad. It just becomes um, sweeter, more moist. It has a lot more flavor. It's just so delicious. So if you haven't had a chopped salad yet, I urge you to give it a go. So I'm going to also add in some um, cilantro. Give that a little chop. And I did leave the stems on, and I'm okay with that because I'm chopping it up and they weren't real big. Um, if they had been a little bit thicker, I would have taken the cilantro off the stems, but um, they have flavor in them too. So we just have that chopped up. And now I'm going to add in some fun things. So this is jicama, and it is a nice, crunchy little bite to it. So I really like it in my salads for the crunch. And I go ahead and buy it um, already peeled and sliced at Trader Joe's. And then this is one cup of corn, and I cut this off the cob, and it was corn that I cooked in the Instant Pot, and I have a video um, showing you how to do that. So we'll put that in there. This is a, kind of a heaping cup of pinto beans and you can use your home cooked pinto beans or ones from a can, just rinse and drain them, whichever you use. You could use black beans, you could use kidney beans. That would also work. And then this is oat groats. It looks like brown rice because I cook it to come out like brown rice. And I cook it in the Instant Pot and I have a video showing you how to do that. And I like it to come out like this so that I can use it in a savory way in a lot of different dishes. And so I'll just use it in place of brown rice in a lot of dishes because I really like the flavor. Um, it has kind of a nutty flavor to it. It has that bite like brown rice has, and uh, it helps to lower your LDL cholesterol. So it's just a really good thing to have. This is some homemade salsa. It's Tammy's Easy Red Salsa, and that recipe is on my blog at Nutmeg Notebook. And it is really easy to make. Now you could use pico de gallo, you can use you know, jarred salsa, whatever is your favorite salsa. So it gives it a lot of flavor. And then this is two tablespoons of lime juice, and you can use fresh, or you can buy the lime juice that's in a jar. So we're gonna pour that over, because we're not gonna have any salad dressing. It's not going to need any salad dressing. With the salsa and the lime juice, we're gonna have plenty of flavor. 
Then we're just going to toss it all together. Now I'm making this for Tom for his dinner tonight. Now I had one like this for lunch today and it is so delicious. It's just a nice fresh flavor, very filling. And you know, um, this is just an idea. You can add to it whatever you want. More beans, less beans, more corn. You can use rice or quinoa or millet, whatever you have. So when we're having it for ourselves, just as a meal, then we use these two quart Corel bowls because they're just the perfect size for the size salads that we like to eat. So I'll just use my rubber spatula and get it all in the bowl. And this is so filling and so nutritious with all of those greens and the oat groats and the corn and that salsa, so delicious. And it takes about 40 minutes to eat. So yes, this really is one meal for us each. <laughs> we can eat the whole thing, um, but it's very, really filling, very low calorie and super nutritious. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the bowl that I use because I get a lot of questions about the bowl. So this is a 15 inch solid beech wood bowl. And this bowl is made by the Holland Bowl Mill Company in Holland, Michigan. So it's a beautiful bowl. 15 inches is what you need in order to do the size salad that I did. Otherwise, if you go smaller, it'll just be flying out of the bowl and you'll have a mess or you'll have to do it in, in batches. So that's why I went for the 15 inch. You can get cherry if you want the cherry wood. They have different bowls that you can pick. This is not the chopping bowl. This is a big, um, like a salad bowl, but they're, they have chopping bowls, but they're much smaller because they're for the herbs. So I am um, an affiliate with the Holland Bowl Mill Company after having used a bowl for a year that I loved. Um, I was offered um, to be an affiliate. And what I love about um, being able to order directly from the company is you can have the bowl personalized on the bottom. So mine says Nutmeg Notebook. It could say Tammy's Kitchen. It could have our anniversary date on there. I mean, you can do whatever you want, which is really fun for you, fun if you want to give it as a gift to someone. So I'll post the affiliate link below uh, the YouTube video. And if you use my link, if your order is a minimum of $125, they will give you a free Mezzaluna knife with that. So when you uh, use the affiliate link to go on to order, you want to click on shop and then you'll get a drop down menu and then you can select which type of wood you want for what kind of bowl. So if you want the beech wood, click on the beech. If you want the cherry, click on the cherry. And then you get to choose the size that you want. And when you're checking out, you'll be able to put um, in the comment section if you want to have it engraved and what you would like to have engraved on it. And they have a lifetime guarantee. You do need to keep them oiled to maintain them so that they don't dry out. They come to you with with a, a beeswax coating on them. If you're vegan and you do not want that, then you can tell them in the comment section not to do that. But when you get the bowl home then, you will need to get some mineral oil and you'll need to oil it before you start using it. And we also have a, a YouTube video that Tom did showing you how to maintain the bowl, how to oil it so that it will last a lifetime. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you'll continue to, to be able to see my new uh, videos as they come up and visit my blog at nutmegnotebook.com. I usually do a companion blog post to go along with the video and I have lots of plant-based recipes and tips and um, lots of information there for you. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.